In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can look up pictures based on a value in a cell linked either to a data validation list or a selection made in a slicer. And there's no VBA or macros involved, just a couple of basic formulas. Now I'm using some images of the Tour de France race stages, but you could use this technique with product images, employees, logos, anything really. Let's take a look. The first step is to bring your images into the Excel file. Now each image needs to sit inside a single cell and you can see here cell A1 it's actually quite large but the image sits perfectly inside that cell and it's important that the cell is at least as big or slightly bigger than the image because if any part of that image sits outside of the cell you're going to get a distorted result when you look it up. So I'm just going to control Z to pop that back in. Now you can see here, if I go down to the end, I've got 21 images. And it's a good idea to distribute them vertically. And that ensures they're all aligned inside the cell in the same location. So you can see this one at the bottom here is slightly higher than the others. So let me bring that down. Then I'm going to control A to select all of the images. And then up on the picture format tab, we're going to align them and then distribute vertically. And that will just ensure that they're all perfectly aligned to the cells in the same way. And that will give a seamless result when we do the lookup. And it will stop them appearing to jump around as your users select different images. And the next thing we need to do is make sure each cell has its own unique name. So I've named my cells Profile 1, Profile 2 and so on. And if we go to the last one, this cell still needs a name. So to name a cell, simply click in the name box type in your name, so this is profile 21, and press enter. Now the names cannot contain any spaces, so just keep that in mind. Now on the stages sheet, I've got a table that lists the stages and the cell names for each stage. Now I'll be using the stage column in my data validation list and slicer because this is more user friendly than the cell name itself. But if your image cell names are suitable to use in the data validation list or the slicer then you don't need this extra stage column like I have here. Now I'm going to put my image lookup on this lookup image sheet and we'll look at the data validation method first. So I need to go to the data tab and over here I want to insert a data validation list. So here I want a list and my source is going to be this column here with the stage names. So I'll click OK and now we can choose from one of the stages. Now the next thing I need to do is actually convert this stage name to the image cell name. So I'm going to use the new XLOOKUP function to do this, but if you don't have Office 365, then you could use VLOOKUP or INDEX and MATCH. So we're going to look up the stage name in the data validation list. We're going to look it up here in the stage column, and I want to return the cell name close my X lookup and press enter. Now normally I'd put this formula away out of sight but I'm just going to leave it here so you can see it in context. Next I need to create a name formula that converts the result of the X lookup formula into a name that the image can reference. So we're going to go to the formulas tab and define a name. I'm going to call this profile DV for data validation and then here the formula is going to be indirect and we're picking up the result from the XLOOKUP formula. Close my parentheses and click OK. So now that I've created my named formula that references the result of the XLOOKUP, all I need to do is bring in my image. So I'm just going to grab one of these images, it doesn't matter which one. You can use any image object, but it's a good idea to use one that is going to be the same size as the images you're looking up. So we'll bring this in. Now all I need to do is, with the image selected, and you can see I've selected it because the pull handles are active, in the formula bar I'm going to reference the named formula that I just set up. There it is there, and press enter. And you can see it's just updated to show me stage 2's map. I'll just move it over a little bit. And now I can choose a different stage and the map automatically updates accordingly. So that is looking up pictures or images using a data validation list. Let's take a look at using a slicer instead of data validation. So I'll place it here. Now for the slicer, I need 
a pivot table. So I'm going to generate a pivot table from this table here. So I'll insert the pivot table. Let's pop it here beside the table. And I just want the stage and the image cell name. Now I need to change the format of the pivot table so that it's just a tabular layout. We don't need any subtotals or grand totals. Next, I need to create a slicer for my users. So I'm going to right click on the stage name, add a slicer. So now when my user selects a stage in the slicer, my pivot table updates and I automatically have the image cell name available there. So all I need to do now is create another named formula using indirect that picks up this image cell name from the pivot table. So let's do that, define a new name. We'll call this profile slicer and the formula is indirect and it's just referencing the cell in the pivot table. Close parentheses and click OK. Now I'm just going to control X to cut the slicer out and we'll place it on our lookup sheet. You can format the slicer a different color if you want. Let's be consistent with the Tour de France colors. Okay, now all I need is the image. So let's grab this one again and place it here. With the image still selected, I'm going to link it to my named formula for slicer and press enter. And now when I choose a different stage in the slicer, my image updates. So let's just review the important steps. The images need to be inside their own cell, entirely enclosed. The cells need to have a name that you can reference. We then need to set up our formulas. So if we look in the name manager, you can see I have one for the data validation list and one for the slicer. And these reference the result of the XLOOKUP function or the pivot table if you're using the pivot table version. Now a word on the XLOOKUP function. You may be tempted to place this formula inside of the indirect function like this, but I can tell you now that won't work. You must place the formula in a cell and then reference that cell with your indirect function in the name manager. So you can choose whether you prefer the data validation list or the slicer. They're both effective. All right, take a moment to download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here or in the video description. It contains both the data validation and slicer methods. Well, I hope you can make use of this technique. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.